Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I greet you all once again in Jesus name. I I thank God for giving us this opportunity to share the word of life again. This day I believe you are blessed and uh, you are pursuing the high calling of God in Christ Jesus and I want us to share this word of encouragement as we look into the Bible and see what the Lord has for us. The word that uh, I want us to share, we want to declare to ourselves, we are overcomers. We shall overcome in our time. We shall overcome in this generation. We shall overcome in these trying times. We are overcomers. Why do I say so? When we read the word of God in First John, the first letter of John, chapter 5, and we read from verses 4 to verses 5, the Bible tells us, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Verses 5, who is he who overcomes the world but he who believes that Jesus is the Lord. Who is he who overcomes the world? Why should we say we are overcomers in such a time like this when there are so many things that seem to put us down? Many of us have been indoors. Many of us are not even working. Many of us are having their children at home. Many of us seem even not to have hope of tomorrow because instead of hearing that the coronavirus victims or the numbers is down, it seems like every day there is an increase. But I want to remind you, regardless of the reports that we are hearing outwardly, we are overcomers. We shall overcome our world. In our time, in our generation, with our families, why? Because the Bible promises so. And that is why this, we can, all of us declare, we shall believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? I want to believe the report of the Lord today. The Bible promises in Ephesians 4 and verses 27, there is a power in every believer not to give the enemy a, a footstand or a footstool all a praise to stand upon. And that is why we shall agree with the word of God because it is from the Lord himself that we are overcomers. So we refuse to give those negative reports any loom in our heart, any loom in our mind, any loom even in the words that we shall declare. We shall not give the enemy a foothold. The Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 and 4, also tells us something else. The weapons that the Lord has given us of our warfare, they are mighty. Because they are not carnal, they are mighty. They are from the Lord himself. To the pulling down anything, anything that would cause doubts in our hearts, that would want our mind to believe that we are losers, we are defeated, we are going to die. We shall lift up the weapons of our warfare, for they are mighty to the pouring down of every stronghold. You know, when we listen to these reports, our minds sometimes want to agree with them that there is no hope, there is no way out. We have lost all. It's like tomorrow looks darker than today. But I want us to agree together, we are overcomers. And who are these, as we have read in that verse? Who is he? who overcomes the world, the one who will be able to use the mighty weapons that we have been given by God himself. For they are not carnal, they are not of the flesh. And that is why the verse says, they that are born, whoever is born of God, whoever is born of God. Another thing that should keep us with this confidence of being overcomers is that in 2 Thessalonians, 2 verses 1 to 4, we have an assurance that the spirit of Antichrist will not lure 
as long as the sons of the Most High God are on earth. We are the ones who shall hinder the progress of evil, wickedness, and his plans to excel, to thrive on earth in our time, in our generation. That is why confidently we say we are overcomers. The Lord delights in his own. The saints, he that he has called by his name, he that he has sanctified, he, he that has forgiven them their sins, he who has even carved their images in his own palm, he delights in them. So if the Lord delights in us and he has overcome on our behalf, why should we look down? Why should we look sideways? Why should we look behind us and think that we shall not make it? We are overcomers. God delights in you. Are you feeling like you cannot make it? I want to remind you, you are an overcomer. The Lord God, who is the creator of all things, delights in you. He delights in your victory. He delights in your establishment. He delights in your progress. He delights in you. And that is why our faith is in nothing else but is in God. In Mark eleven twenty two. Jesus spoke to the disciples and told them, Don't marvel that the fig tree has withered. You are in a position too, as long as you have faith in God. Why do we say we are overcomers? Because we have faith. I pray that your faith may not be misplaced. If you put your faith in the governments of this world, you may find yourself without a solution. If you put your faith in technology, you might find yourself because all these things can fail. But when we choose to have faith in God and put our confidence in him, the Bible tells us, and we shall read together in, in Nahum chapter 1 and verses 7, the God, the Lord God is good. The Lord God is good. He whom we have chosen to put our faith in he is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows those who trust in him. Hallelujah. Our God doesn't have to be reminded. Nobody has to go before him on our behalf. He knows. If you put your trust in God, I want to remind you, you are an overcomer. And I want to believe by now you have no doubts in your heart, in your mind, regardless of the situation, the Lord God is good. He is a stronghold in the day of trouble. He knows those who trust in him. And that is why confidently we can say, we are overcomers. I repeat again the verses that I had led in 1 John chapter 5 and verses 4. The Bible says, and I read again, that for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. Have you given your life to Jesus? Have you allowed yourself to receive him in your life? For whatever is born of God will overcome the world. And number two, in the same verse, the Bible says, And this is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Where is your faith? Do you have the faith of God in you? The faith of money has failed many because you cannot keep corona off your life with money. Technology has failed big names and big nations. It seems they have no help. Where is you? Because number two, it's not only that you need to be born of God, he who sent his only begotten son, that through his own blood you may be forgiven of your sins and be called a child of God. But number two, you must put you have faith in him. Faith in God who does not fail. Faith in God who is an ever-present helper in times of our troubles. Faith in God who has assured us. He delights in us. He delights in our success. He delights in our progress. And lastly, it's not only that we have victory to overcome, but also continuity in believing that Jesus is the Son of God. Believing in Jesus, 
It gives you life eternal. We may not fall sick with corona, but at the end of the day, there is eternity to live. This life is temporal. And the shakings that are around us, sometimes the troubles that we go through, it's a reminder, this is not our home. We need to believe that Jesus is the son of the most high God. And that is why he said, he is the truth, he is the way, and he is life. And with that, we shall be overcomers. We can overcome the world. May the Lord God hide this word in our hearts so that in these troubling times, we may assure declare we are overcomers. We shall overcome the world. We have the word of victory in our mouth, and this is faith in God. And we shall continue to believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I want us to pray together that the Holy Spirit of God will keep on encouraging us. He indwells in us. And he abides in us forever. He is our help. Our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for every reason that we may believe and hold and, kill and cling to this word that they are overcomers. They, they are all overcomers in our time, in our generation, and we are part of the overcomers. We shall overcome. We shall overcome the world with its turmoils, with its problems, with its crises, with all the shakings around us, with all the shortcomings We declare we are overcomers. For those who are sick, you are a healer. They shall overcome. For those who are downcasted, you, you are the Lord God who lifts our head and anoints us afresh to move on. You will lift your people. For those who are feeling hopeless, and the, the future looks dim to them. You are the hope of our glory, Christ Jesus. May you show forth to your people. For those who feel like the shakings of this time, including Corona that, is, that already has shaken Many nations, the mighty, the great. And many are wondering, where will Africa be? Where will Kenya be? Oh, Lord, our God, you reign in all nations. You are the Lord God who has called Kenya to yourself. And we declare we shall be overcomers. We thank you. We thank you for this nation. We thank you for the leadership of this nation. We thank you for every citizen of this nation. We want to thank you for your shortening this time. And we declare, Jesus, you who left the heavens and came down on earth, you who left your glory and came and took our praise, you shall enable us not to give our enemy any loom, even the enemy of doubt, we shall believe in you and we shall confess you are the son of God. You overcame the grave and we shall be saved. We thank you in Jesus' name.